Imagine a landscape sculpted by nature's whims, where narrow sounds and fjords separate the islands like puzzle pieces, creating a breathtaking mosaic. The Faroe Islands, situated at 66 Seco North and 6047 West, find themselves suspended between the realms of Scotland and Iceland. The archipelago spans 113 kilometers from north to south and 75 kilometers from east to west, with the iconic Sletteratindur mountain towering at 880 meters, proudly claiming the title of the highest peak. With a coastline stretching over 1,100 kilometers, the Faroe Islands are a realm of cliffs where the ocean meets the sky in a dance of perpetual motion. Enneberg, the highest cliff, looms at a majestic 700 meters, casting a shadow over the surrounding sea. These volcanic islands, shaped by tholeitic basalt lava, beckon explorers with an air of mystery, their remoteness adding to their allure. Despite their isolation, the Faroe Islands hold a strategic position in the shipping lanes between the world's wealthiest continents a testament to their importance in the grand tapestry of global trade. Now let's talk about the heartbeat of the Faroe Islands, its climate. Picture a place where weather is a living, breathing entity, where you can experience all four seasons in a single day. The Faroe's weather, moist, changeable, and occasionally windy, is a force to be reckoned with. Thanks to the Gulf Stream, Winter and summer temperatures hold hands in a delicate balance, with average temperatures ranging from 3 degrees C in winter to 12 degrees C in the summer. During summer, the days stretch endlessly, with up to 19 hours of daylight, allowing for exploration under the perpetual glow of the sun. But remember, this is a land where the weather plays by its own rules. The best time to visit might be the summer, with drier and sunnier conditions, but the pharaohs will tell you. Guarantees are rare in this corner of the world. Locals often quip, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. And it's true, the weather is reliably unpredictable. Summer days may see an average high of 13 D, while winter temperatures range from 1 dig to 6 dig. You might experience all the seasons in a single day, adding an element of surprise to every adventure. Let's talk about the unbelievable panoramic view from Klakur on Bordeaux Island. Just a short hike from the town of Klaksvik, this vantage point offers a sight you won't forget. Picture this, birds flying beneath you, waves crashing into craggy shores, and the vast North Atlantic Ocean stretching out before your eyes. The hike takes less than an hour, making it a must-see spot. Let's journey to Kalsoy Island and the 100-year-old Kala Lighthouse. This remote gem sits atop the northern peak, surrounded by rough cliffs and a sea so blue it merges with the sky. A 2.4-mile trek takes you to this high point, where nature embraces you. Birds swirl around as you stand on the cliff, offering an experience that's truly a must-see in the Faroe Islands. Our next destination takes us to Vagar Island and the iconic rocky arch Drangania. This sea stack surrounded by salty ocean and a steep islet is a trademark attraction. The stunning scenery and the sheer beauty of Drangania make it one of the most famous sights in the Faroe Islands. Prepare to be blown away. The breathtaking Mula Fossa waterfall on Vaga Island. Picture a waterfall plunging into the sea, surrounded by coastal cliffs, and a village, Gasadalur, nestled in the green fields and impressive mountains. This iconic attraction is easily accessible, just a 20-minute drive from the airport, making it an ideal first stop for many travelers. The culture of the Faroe Islands is deeply rooted in Nordic traditions. This archipelago, situated between Iceland and Norway, remained isolated from major cultural shifts, preserving a significant part of its traditional heritage. The Faroes' language, known as Faroes, is the linguistic heartbeat of the community. 
Let's talk about traditional pharaoh's music, which, interestingly, was primarily vocal and devoid of musical instruments in the past. It wasn't until the 20th century, with the growth of trade, that imported musical instruments found their way to Torshavn, the capital. While the city embraced these changes, rural areas clung to their roots. With the chain dance and ballads taking center stage, the pharaoh's chain dance is a unique dance form surviving exclusively in these islands. Dancing in a circle, participants often let the dance swing around in various wobbles within the circle. No musical instruments accompany the dance. Instead, the dancers sing ballads in pharaohs or Danish. The leader, known as the skipari, or organizer, sets the tone by singing the first few words, and the others follow suit. Now let's shift our focus to another remarkable aspect of pharaoh's culture, traditional knitting. Pharaoh's knitting is renowned worldwide, and the intricate patterns have been passed down through generations by word of mouth. Today, knitting circles often turn to the Feroisk Bindingamin Stur, the ultimate Faroese pattern book from the 1920s and 30s. Featuring 143 designs, this cultural treasure showcases everything from simple underclothes to intricate lace-like shawls. The stories behind these designs are as fascinating as the craft itself. The Faroese sheep, with their lanolin-rich wool, ensure practically waterproof sweaters, a testament to the islanders' resourcefulness. While traversing the Faroes, make sure to treat your taste buds to the local delights. One must try is the wind-dried sheep's meat, a festive favorite around Christmas, enjoyed all year long. In the bustling capital, Torshavn, you'll find a smorgasbord of options, from Burger King to sumptuous Nordic spreads. However, in the smaller villages, finding a place to eat might be a challenge. Fear not, though, as filling stations often offer sandwiches, hot dogs, surprisingly delicious, and even chips. And when all else fails, explore the supermarkets for a taste of local ingredients and go self-catering. Traveling between islands, Larger ferries have got you covered with cafeterias, serving snacks and coffee. For a more intimate dining experience, check out Dining with the Locals or Haima Blidni. It's a fantastic opportunity to meet Faroese residents and savor homemade meals in a cozy setting. Let's talk breakfast, the most important meal of the day. In Torshaun's hotels, wake up to a Scandinavian-style feast. Cold tables adorned with hams, cheeses, herring, cereals, yogurts, fruits, and the occasional Danish pastry. It's a help-yourself affair, and you're welcome to return as many times as your heart desires. Plus, coffee, tea, and juice are always in abundance. Now, when it comes to the main meal, Lunch takes center stage in the Faroe Islands. Between 11 seals and 14 seals, you'll find various options in Torsham, including value-for-money buffets, where you can fill up for around 150 cura. Pro tip, make lunch your main meal to save some krona. Grab a snack in the evening from a local supermarket or bakery to stretch your budget further. Dinner can be a bit tricky, Expect higher prices for meat-heavy dishes, often accompanied by overcooked veggies and a mountain of potatoes. Fresh fish can be elusive due to the island's limitations, but fear not, pizzerias and cafes in Torshaun offer a more budget-friendly alternative. Plan on spending around 250 to 350 kiar for a two-course dinner in an upscale restaurant, or opt for a cozy cafe experience at half the cost. In the Faroe Islands, education is not just a priority, it's a fundamental right for all. The belief here is simple. Every individual should have the opportunity to discover their unique potential. The education system is built on this very foundation, with schooling from primary to higher education offered free of charge to every Faroese citizen. The educational journey starts around the age of seven, where children embark on primary and secondary education. Attendance is mandatory until the completion of the ninth grade. Following this, students have the option to enroll in upper secondary school. 
a three-year program that opens doors to higher education, both in the Faroe Islands and abroad. Alternative schools cater to specific fields like fishery, business, technology, and healthcare. The goal is to provide a diverse range of opportunities, ensuring that every Faroe's individual can find their path and contribute to the community. Now let's talk about healthcare. In the Faroe Islands, Healthcare is a right accessible to all residents. The Health Insurance Act ensures that anyone over 18 covered by the legislation pays a monthly fee of DKK 175, along with 0.60% of their taxable income. This contribution grants access to free medical treatment, dental care, physiotherapy, medications, and more. Whether you're a resident, a student abroad for educational purposes, or a visitor from Greenland or Denmark, the Faroe Islands have your healthcare needs covered. Faroe's residents even enjoy free medical assistance in Denmark and other Nordic countries, thanks to carefully crafted agreements. Let's begin our journey on land, where the most ubiquitous creatures are not just a part of the landscape, but an integral part of the culture. Picture this. As you hike through the mountains or cruise the country roads, you'll encounter a woolly wonder, sheep. The name Faroe Islands itself, rooted in Old Norse as fairy jar, translates to sheep islands. Lamb, a cornerstone of Faroe's cuisine, ties families to designated mountain areas for sheep, securing a stable food source. Families, each with a stake in these mountainous regions, participate in herding and annual slaughtering, reflecting a deep connection to the land. And did you know that sheep are even featured in the historical coat of arms? But that's not all. Keep an eye out for rabbits, kettles and horses as you explore these enchanting islands. The Faroe Islands are a bird watcher's paradise, boasting around 300 bird species, with approximately 110 being regular migrants or breeding birds. On March 12th, Faroese celebrate the arrival of their national bird, the oyster catcher, on Grecaris Mesa, signaling the imminent arrival of summer. Another beloved bird that graces these skies is the charming puffin, with around 500,000 breeding pairs scattered across the islands. For a truly unique experience, consider joining our remote experiences, guiding you to pristine, off-the-beaten-path locations to observe the diverse bird life that calls the pharaohs home. While you might not immediately think of fish when considering wildlife here, they play a pivotal role in the pharaohs' economy and way of life. Approximately 95% of pharaohs' exports consist of fish, with half of that being ocean-farmed salmon. The Faroe Islands are, without a doubt, a fishing people's nation. Youngsters embark on sea adventures in their teens, creating a deep bond with the ocean. Locals even have their boats for catching fish, ensuring fresh and self-caught dinners at home. To truly embrace the island's maritime spirit, our remote experiences offer activities such as fishing with a local, snorkeling, scuba diving, and even adventure sports on the vast ocean, providing a unique perspective on the Faroe Islands' rich maritime heritage. Faroe Islanders are a unique blend of education, love for nature, and a genuine passion for storytelling. They don't boast, they don't exaggerate, in fact, if there's an antonym for superficial, it might just be Faroe Islanders. They have a saying, if not today, then tomorrow, a reflection of their relaxed approach to life. When a Faroe Islander invites you for dinner, it's not just a formality, it's a heartfelt invitation. They don't plan to brush you off. Instead, they share their stories, their traditions, and their delicious cuisine with sincerity and timekeeping. Well... It's a flexible concept here. If things don't happen today, there's always tomorrow. Now let's talk about their unconditional love for a good sunny holiday. Despite the often cloudy and misty weather, Faroe Islanders appreciate the rare moments when the sun graces their islands. It's a time for celebration and relaxation, a testament to their appreciation for life's simple joys. But what truly sets Faroe Islanders apart is their openness towards visitors. 
They're not just proud of their country and culture, they're eager to share it with the world. So, if you find yourself wandering these beautiful landscapes, don't hesitate to strike up a conversation. You might discover that connecting with a Faroe Islander becomes the highlight of your trip. As we wrap up our journey through the Faroe Islands, remember, it's not just about the breathtaking landscapes or the charming villages. It's about the people, their stories, and the genuine hospitality that defines life in the Faroe Islands.